Hi, all brothers and sisters in Christ. How are you doing? It's been a long time since we have done our Bible study. And as you know, I'm Hannah Mahari, and this is my sister, Hermela Mahari. And remember, we did our Bible study last time. Remember, we did the Old Testament. And now we're starting the New Testament. I'm so excited to do the New Testament with you guys. So, from the New Testament, we are going to learn one of the four Gospels. We're going to learn one of them. So, which is the first Gospel, Hermela? Gospel of Matthew. Good job. It is Gospel of Matthew. So, we're going to learn Gospel of Matthew today. So, I'm going to ask you a few questions, Hermela, okay? Okay. Number one question is, how many chapters are in the Gospel of Matthew. Mm, 28 chapters. Good job, 28 chapters. In which year did Gospel of Matthew write, write it? 60 to 65 AD. Good job. By the way, Hannah, 80 means after Christ. Good job. 80 actually means after Christ. Thank you for reminding us. So, the last but not least question is, who wrote the Gospel of Matthew? Saint Matthew himself. Good job. By the way, Hermola, Matthew was a origin. Matthew was a tax collector. He was an educated one, and he was one of the original apostles. And he also wrote the gospel to the Jewish people to let them know that Jesus is the promised true Messiah. And because of that, he caught it more than 50 times from the Old Testament, from the Jewish people. He wrote more than 50 times. And also, the gospel contains stories, miracles, prophecies, and teachings. Wow, amazing. That's a short introduction. Yeah. The gospel of Matthew, wow, amazing. But can we go? Can we go ahead for the short overview of yes. the gospel itself? Yes. yes. Excited? Yeah, we're okay, excited. Let's go. Let's go. I know we divided in five pieces, right? In five group, yeah. the entire gospel of Matthew, right? Yes. So okay, let's go those five divisions. Okay, let's go. Can you start from the the birth of Christ, the okay. first the first yes. one, right? Yes. Okay, let's go. Matthew gives the genealogy of Jesus Christ going back to Abraham. Uh -huh. When Joseph is hesitated to wed Mary, an angel appears to him and tells him not to fear, taking her as his wife. Matthew also tells the stories of the Magi, Herod's slaughter of babies, the escape to Egypt, and Jesus' family returned to Nazareth. Wow. Okay, let's go to the second part. Okay. Which is the... Teaching. The teaching of the teaching of Christ. Okay. Matthew shares the Sermon on the Mount. The Sermon on the Mount. Okay. Yeah. Of the twenty-three parables, included nine are original and include the parable of the sower. Uh -huh. the, parable, the parable of the sower. Yeah. Okay. The parable of the ten virgins. The ten the, virgins. Yeah. The parable of the ten virgins. Okay. And the parable of the sheep and the goats. The parable of the sheep and the goat. Yeah. You're going to tell us next time, okay, Baza? Awesome. Oh, the third one was the... What was that? Miracles. The miracles of Jesus. Okay, let's okay. go. Okay. Out of, out of 18 miracles, Matthew tells two that are unique. Very unique. Mm -hmm. What are they? Peter walking on the sea uh -huh. and the coin found the fish to pay the tax temple. Is there any other miracle? Yes. Yeah. The healing of two blind men may also be unique. Oh yeah, they may also be unique. They are unique. Yeah, you're right. We discussed that. Okay, the fourth part. What was that? The prophecies. Right? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Matthew's account refers to Peter as the rock of the future church. Who? Peter? The future rock of the church? Yeah. Oh. He also shares Christ's prophecies that the kingdom would be handed over to the Gentiles. To whom? 
to the Gentiles. Okay, to the Gentiles. Okay. And the destruction of the temple would occur in less than 50 years. Oh. Any other about the in the time, you remember? Yeah. Also, there is. The 50 years. And a famous description of the end times. Oh, the famous description of the end time, you remember? Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one. The, 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 the last description about the Gospel of Matthew, you remember about the days, resurrection, and ascension, ascension right? You remember? Christ. Yeah, of the Christ. Can you, one of you, can you go and tell us about that? Okay. So, this is the last one. The last one, okay. Yeah, the last okay. one. Okay. Okay. So, Matthew recounts the 30 pieces of silver, suicide of Judas. Suicide of who? Judas. Judas, yeah, right. I remember that. Pilate's wife disturbing dream and the earthquake at the resurrection. The earthquake, yes, you're right. And it was only in the Gospel of Matthew. Yes, yeah, and yeah. the Great Commission to share Christ's teachings to the world. Oh my goodness, I remember that. That's a very important part, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, here you go. Yeah. Well, I think that's enough, right, yeah, for today? I think that's finished. The next time we can go a little bit more details or we can go to Gospel of Mark. Mark. Then, you know, slowly, right? John. Right? And? Mm -hmm. Right? By the way, those three Gospels, you remember? What? Matthew, Mark, and Luke? Luke and John. They John. are? I mean, Singer. that's three of them. Yeah, yeah, three of them are synoptic. Oh, three of them are synoptic. Yeah. Yeah. John is kind of, John is not similar. It's just, it's a gospel, but not similar. It's not similar, right? Yeah, synoptic means similar. Oh, synoptic means similar. Then the three gospels are similar, right? Yes. Much, right? Then, then a little bit different, right? Gospel of John? Yes. Yeah, yeah we will go detail when you, you know? Yeah. Yeah, next time. Yeah, you're right. Okay, amazing. Thank Bye. you very much, Hannah Bye. and Hermila. Bye. Bye. God Bye. bless you.